Hi, welcome to my video on the maximum word problem level two. This is number two video on maximum word problems. A cone has a height of 12 inches and a radius of six inches. A cylinder is inscribed in the cone. Find the maximum volume of the cone. So we have a cone and a cone and the height of the cone is 12 and the radius of the cone is 6 so let's take a cone let me draw a cone and the dark line is on the outside the broken line is on the is the base that you can't see is on the inside and we have a cylinder inscribed in the cone so that means it's it's here and here and the cylinder comes down to the base and this is the diameter of the cone at the bottom this is a circle at the bottom this is the diameter so we draw a perpendicular from there down to the base and we drop a perpendicular there down to the base and this is a cylinder inside so this this is the this the cylinder which is a circle at the bottom and we also have let's look at this part I'm just trying to draw it so you're familiar with what I'm doing now we want to find the this is the cylinder inscribed in the cone and so it says the height of the cone is 12 so that means it's 12 inches from there to there and this the these two circles are concentric that means they have the same center so if I draw a line down through here and let's call this point right here O and let's call this T at the top so this distance of OT is 12 this distance from here to here is 12 and the radius is from O let's label uh, this as the radius is OB so let's say OB is the radius of the cone and so the radius of the circle let's put some letters in here so we won't get confused let's make the radius of the cylinder R which is OF so if we take the cylinder I'm going to call the cylinder CYC the uh, OF is the radius of the cylinder and if we the diameter of the cylinder at the bottom is the same as the diameter of the cylinder at the top so if we call this point right here C and we call this point here E that means that CE is the same radius because this is when you drop this down these these are perpendiculars coming down here right this is perpendicular 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 to the base here so this distance CE is the same as OF and also we have uh, OC which is let's say OC is right here so let's say OC is the height of the cylinder and TO is the height of the cone so based on all that what we have is this one is done we want to find the, the maximum area or oh, sorry the maximum volume of the cylinder and the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h so how are we going to find it well one way and this is why I picked up this problem is that we have a, a pair of similar triangles so let me draw the similar triangles right here 
And so T O B T O B right angle at O. This is the height of the cone perpendicular to the base. And we also have the triangle T C E. T C E. And there's a right angle right here at C, so that's the right angle. So this angle right here is common to both of these triangles. So O, T, B, and C, T, E. This is the angle common to the two triangles. This angle is common to the two triangles. That means that triangle T, O, B is similar to triangle T, C, E. And the reason for that is AA similarity. That means if we have two pairs of angles in one triangle, we go with the two pairs in another. The triangles are similar. As a result of similar triangles, that means we have TO over TO over TC is equal to OB, OB over CE. That's the definition of similar triangles, corresponding sides are proportional. That means what we have is, now let's see if we have TO, TO is 12, so that's the height, TC, now we don't know what TC is yet, but if this is H from, if H is this height right here, and 12 is this height, that means that uh, TC is 12 minus H. Again, this is 12 from top to bottom. This is H from the top um, uh, cylinder, top of the cylinder to the bottom of the cylinder. So the difference is the total distance subtract H. So TC is 12 minus H. OB is the radius of the circle. OB is this radius here. And this radius is 6 as we gave it before. OB is 6. And CE is R. Because the radius here is the same as this radius. The circle on the top is the same as the circle on the bottom. So the radii are equal. So we have a, a proportion set up. So we cross multiply in this proportion. We have 12R equals 6 times 12 minus 6 times H. So 12R equals 72 minus 6H. Now we have a choice. And let's look at the formula. We have a choice. I can solve this for R and have uh, all H's in here. Or I can solve this for H and have all R's in here. But because the R is squared, I think I'm going to solve it for H and not worry about squaring it. So let's solve this for H. So 6H equals 72 minus 12R. So divide by 6 and I get a 12 minus 2R. So H is 12 minus 2R. So now I have the volume is pi R squared H. So the volume is r squared pi r squared and h is 12 minus 2r. So I elected to solve it for h because I didn't want to, if I solved it for r, I would have to solve the r in here and then I would have to square it and that would make more work. So the volume is 12 times pi r squared is 12 pi r squared minus 2r uh, pi r squared divided by negative 2r is 2 pi r cubed. And let's put that in descending order. It's easier to work with. Oh, um, I made a mistake again. That's r cubed plus 12 pi r squared. So there's negative 2. The r cubed goes first and the r squared goes second. Now, to get the maximum value, I need to do the derivative. So I need to, need to do d, and I got r here, so d dr of the volume, and we do d dr on the right side, so negative 2 pi r cubed 
And I'm writing this step in just to show you. So this is d v d r. The derivative in terms of r is negative two times three is negative six pi, and we decrease the exponent by one. And twelve times two is twenty four pi, and we decrease the exponent by one. So this derivative is again to get the maximum we make the derivative equal to zero because that's where the, the instantaneous velocity is zero so that makes negative six pi r squared plus 24 pi r equal to zero and we got a quadratic so i'll take out the negative six pi r and negative six pi r divided into negative six pi r squared is r and negative 6 divided into 24 is negative 4 and the pi r divided into pi r is 1 so we have negative 6 pi r equals 0 or we have r minus 4 equals 0 so we divide by 6 pi r so r is 0 there and r is 4 so we can't we can't deal with the 0 because then we would have no we would have no radius at all so we would have no cylinder and now we have r is 4 so we want the maximum volume so the volume and we'll write down the volume as right here i could write down this one but let's write down the simplified one here 2 pi r cubed plus 12 pi r squared and so the volume when r is 4 what is the volume again this is a maximum Again, because this is negative, it's going, uh, it's like a parabola, and because uh, this is r squared on r, we have a parabola here opening downward, so that's a maximum. So we have a radius, oh, I didn't mean to put that, I'll leave it there, okay. 4 cubed plus 12 pi 4 squared. Take our time, that's uh, 64. 4 cubed to 64 times 2 is a negative 128 pi. And that's 16. 4 squared is 16. 12 times 16 is 192 pi. And we subtract them and we get 64 pi. And again, this is volume, so it's cubic inches. Dealing with cubic inches, the radius is in inches. So... That's a maximum word problem done. And again, I wanted this one because of the, in the calculus coming up in what we call related rates, this concept of similar triangles is very important. So that's why I did one here to review that and also review the derivative. And that brings us to the end. If you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my uh, YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained, just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.